Okay, I should be laying down because I don't feel well, as you know. But here I am, I found some time to do the video notes. So, here we go. Jason jumped off a cliff. What did he do that for? Crazy. Into the ocean while vacationing with people. His height as a function of time is modeled by this function where T is the time in seconds and H is the height. Okay. It says, how long did it take Jason to reach his maximum height? So we, what we want to do is we want to take this equation here. We want to find the maximum height. So anytime you're looking for a maximum or a minimum, we want to be in vertex form. All right. So let's write this down. Okay, here's a cliff. Here's Jason. Don't jump, Jason. Don't jump. He jumps off the cliff into the ocean. Alright, we want to find his maximum height. Remember, maximum is always a vertex form. Same with minimum. So we want to change this to vertex form. So we've learned how to do that. Okay, this is important. When you're in standard form and you want to change to vertex form, you need to complete the square. So let's start off by rewriting this. Let's move the 480 to the other side of the equal sign. So we're going to subtract the 480. Okay. So now the, this h of t, I just made that into a zero. Or that's the height. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and complete the square so we have to see the leading coefficient is not 1 so we have to factor it out okay now I'm going to change forms here make a perfect square down here so half of minus 1 is minus a half okay minus half squared is four, one fourth so I just completed the square now I have a perfect square so this times this is this perfect square then remember since we factored out a number we have to multiply it back in that's going to be negative 16 times a fourth which is negative 4 So that's going to give us negative 484. Now we're not trying to solve this. So we're going to move that minus 484 back over here. So that way we're in vertex form. All right. And remember, h of t, that represents y. So we could put that h of t back in now if we want to, or, or y. No, let's not use y. Let's use h of t. So now we're in vertex form. So our vertex is 1 half, 484. So that means that Jason, in 1 half a second, reached a maximum height of 484 feet. So, question A asked, how long did it take for Jason to reach his maximum height? Well, it's going to be a half a second. B, what was the highest point that Jason reached? 
484 feet. And C, Jason hit the water after how many seconds? So we're looking for this. So the water is going to be our x-axis. So that means we have to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and solve it real quick. Um, we'll just solve it in vertex form since it's all ready to go. So let's move this down here. Dividing by negative 16. So we get T. And dividing that. Now, when we, this is the only time you um, can use a calculator and a quadratic formula. We want to do all this work here. We don't want the calculator to do the work for us. But calculations comes in handy for that. Square root both sides. See right here, calculation. Square root of 30.25. half on both sides. So the time it takes for Jason to hit the water is going to be 6.0 seconds. Now, when you're in standard form and you're looking for a maximum or minimum, we change it to vertex form. That gives us our vertex. Okay? If we're in standard form, and we want to find out the x-intercept or when something hits the ground, then we want to either, if we're in vertex form, we can solve it like we did right here, or we can plug this into the quadratic formula and solve it. And so I want you to know that um, this is the vertical motion formula, okay, and uh, Taya this represents the force of gravity. Even though we're in feet, gravity uh, falls at uh, 32 feet per second. Per second. But th to get this number in the formula, we just take half of 32. And since it's going down, it's negative. This number here represents the initial velocity. This number right here represents the initial height. So we can know that Jason was 480 feet above the ground when he jumped off the cliff. Or above the water, I should say. 480 feet. Okay, that's a good start. See you guys in class tomorrow.